Hi, this is Michelle with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you two things in this video. The first being how to cover a cam snap with fabric and the second part of the video I'll show you how to install the cam snap on the So Powerful purse. So the cam snap comes with four pieces. Two pieces that have a post and they're both exactly the same. The other two pieces are a male part and a female part and they both snap together. So we only need to cover one of the post parts with fabric. And cam snaps come in all different sizes so you'll need to accommodate your fabric according to the size of your post piece. Now as you can see mine is half an inch wide. So the amount of fabric I need is twice the width of the diameter of this. So I need to cut a piece of fabric one inch wide in diameter. So I've done that here using a US quarter or for those in Australia it's about the size of a 10 cent piece. And so I've cut that out of fabric and then done a running stitch around the edge there. So now you place the post snap in the center and I just hold it down with my finger like that and pull up nice and tight pull the thread up nice and tight like that and secure with a couple of knots just like that so now I'm going to show you how to install the cam snap on the So Powerful purse. But a little bit about cam snaps. When I first started using them, I was having a lot of trouble getting consistent results. And this is what was happening. You can see in here there's excess plastic. It's, there's just too much of it. It sticks up too much, if you like. And it also pushed off to the side. When you squeeze the cam snap and it pushes the post down, it was pushing it off center. And this was causing my snaps not to close. So I'll show you a little tip to avoid that. So to get started you'll need your cam snap pliers. Just make sure that you've got the correct size die attached to it, but refer to your instructions on how to do that. You'll also need a pointed tool of some sort. This one came with the plier kit. If you don't have one of these, just use something like a, a blunt needle just to push a hole in the fabric so that the post can go through it. And of course you'll need the four parts of the cam snap. And to avoid this, you'll also need a pair of side cutters. As an optional thing, um, also some pigment ink. So we've got the purse here. And I've already marked where I want my snap to go. I eyeballed this, in, um, and how I did that, I kind of line, eyeballed it. Uh, according to that pleat there. But you can also measure it if you so desire. So I've marked that and we take our pointed tool and we push that through the mark that you've made. Now that's created a hole. You take your covered snap, the covered part of it, and place the post through that hole and push the fabric right down to the bottom of the post, like that. Now you can see that the post has a point. To avoid what I was getting here, to avoid this happening with too much uh, plastic and pushing off centre, just take your side cutters and just cut off that point. It's probably about, I'd guess an eighth of an inch. But you're just cutting that end point off like that. So you can see there. Then take the male part of your snap, which is the piece that sticks out, and place that over the top of the post. Then you take your pliers and place that bottom black section snugly in to the post section 
on the other side like that it's not quite in and line up oops try that again you can usually just sort of feel it pop into place make sure that's centered and then you squeeze it closed like that and because I've got fabric on this it just sits in there a little bit more snug so I just had to give it a little tug so there you can see it's nice and secure and there's no shifting of that post off to one side and that's the front section there so now we're going to work on the other side and this is where the pigment ink comes in handy. You can, if you don't have any ink, just press down on the snap onto the fabric and you can see a slight indent in the fabric. But I'm just going to use a bit of pigment ink. Just isolate the fabric so you don't get any ink on your fabric. And just press lightly on that part there. And then lay your flap down onto the fabric making sure it's centered and then just press down and you can see the mark that it's made there so now put your hand underneath that so you don't accidentally poke through to the other side of the flap and in the center of that ring just put your pointed tool through there Again, making sure you don't go through the flap. You can see it's coming out the other side there. So we'll take that out. Now we've got this marked. We'll take care of this. And it just, the pigment ink just wipes off the snap because it's plastic and the ink doesn't stick to it. So now we take the other section of the snap, the post. And this time we're going to put it on the back side so the inside of the pocket, push that through and push the fabric right down to the bottom of the post. And again, I'm just going to cut that point off. You can see the point there. Just about an eighth of an inch. I'll show you on my finger. It's not very much at all. And then you take the female part, place that over the post, like that. And then take the pliers, again making sure everything lines up. And just squeeze. If you're having trouble squeezing, just try leaning on the snap leaning on the pliers on the table to give you a bit more leverage. And that's the other side done. Just make sure it's secure. Just give a little wiggle. And you can see there's no excess plastic in the centre and it's perfectly centred. So now the big test. And there's the cam snap installed.